So the error functions um, pronounced earth and earth c are uh, defined as follows. So the error, the error function is this integral here. As you see, it's integrating a Gaussian curve, e to the minus t squared, from 0 to x. The reason uh, why you've got 2 over root pi here uh, is simply so that um, as x tends to infinity, you get the answer 1. So earth of infinity is, uh, is plus 1. Uh, you may or may not but know that the uh, integral of minus, minus infinity to infinity of uh, e to the minus t squared dt is in fact just uh, root pi, which is why you end up with this uh, 2 over root pi as the normalization constant. Um, uh, it's an odd function. You may or may not know that if you integrate um, an even function, um, from 0 to x, uh, then you automatically get a, an odd, odd function as, as the, the integral. The uh, earth c is simply 1 minus earth, so it's called the complementary error function. So um, uh, that then works out as uh, the integral from x to infinity, um, since these things both have to add up to 1. Uh, that should be fairly obvious why. Okay, so they're, they're plotted here. Um, so the error functions um, have applications in, um, in heat conduction mainly, um, as well as in probability theory, as you might know the Gaussian distribution uh, to work out the area under the curve. Well, to work out the probability of something with a Gaussian distribution, you can express it in terms of the error function. So they're actually very useful functions. So as we just said, um, earth is an odd function. Um, I'll just mention the Taylor series. You can actually prove it by um, expanding the integrand in the definition. Okay, just write e to the minus t squared as one minus uh, t squared plus and so on the series for e to the x with minus t substitutes and uh, integrate term by term and you end up with um, this, this series here. Um, it's possible to show, this is sometimes useful, that for large x, earth c goes off like e to the minus x squared over root x. So that's basically what we're seeing here. Sometimes you might need that approximation. Um, okay, so the derivative um, um, basically, if you if you differentiate an integral, if you differentiate an integral, then you end up with um, the integrand. So that's basically why um, why you end up with um, differentiating O of C. You basically end up with e to the minus x squared times this normalization constant. That's sometimes useful to know. Um, I'll let you work out what the derivative of earth c is. Um, and finally, the integral um, of earth, we can just do by parts. So you might be wondering, how can you do that by parts? Well, the trick is that you, if it's only got one part, well, in fact, you can think of it as one times earth c, and then in and integrate the one and differentiate the earth, which you now know how to do. So it's straightforward to integrate earth. Um, as you can see from the graph, um, well, f of 0 is 0, f of infinity, as we've seen, is 1, and it's an odd function, so f of minus, inf minus infinity is minus 1, and then special values of f c follow from the definition of f c, which is just 1 minus f. Um, if, you have that, if you want to use Mathematica to calculate them, then Mathematica knows about these functions, f of c, inverse f, and inverse f c. We have the inverse functions with obvious definitions as well.